This is an extract from the Leader Coronavirus Daily podcast by the Evening Standard and hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for it on your podcast provider. Was a trip to the garden centre your first day out after lockdown? They were queuing up to get into this one in Hampshire this morning. Or maybe you went back to work. The buses on Oxford Street were making the rounds loaded with commuters for the first time in weeks. It was standing room only on some, and some tube lines were also pretty packed too. Social distancing's hard to keep in those circumstances, but our editorial column says we all need to learn how to navigate the coronavirus world. There's a precarious balancing act between crushing the virus by keeping everyone at home and crushing the economy by not easing parts of the lockdown. The aim should be to allow as much activity as possible while not allowing infection rates to get out of control. The route to that is unclear and it won't always go well, but we need to start the journey. In London, we saw the impact. The tube was a lot busier. Some buses were packed. Lots of people were not wearing face masks, which they should be, but it's hardly a surprise when the government itself was defying global opinion until days ago by telling us they weren't effective. Restarting the economy will involve constant choices between obvious risks and the less visible consequences of destroying our jobs and incomes. The choice is not between lockdown and a free-for-all, It's about how we learn to live with the virus. In that, we each have to play our part. Among those pioneers journeying to work earlier was Janine Louie, who runs an interior design business in North London. And Janine, what was it like being among the first to go back? It's a bit bonkers. I mean, we, st- we actually started yesterday. Um, we do furniture and curtains and blinds for investment properties. So we can't do anything virtually. We have to drive because we're either, we're always taking stuff, wh- whatever happens. Tell me about the, some of the congestion that you've encountered and, and how does it feel being stuck in a traffic jam when you know there's a potentially deadly virus around? Definitely safer in the car than on the streets. I wouldn't want to be using public transport at the moment. I'm not a fan of it at the best of times. Russ was saying that central London was very, very quiet. The roads were dead as a dodo. The streets were, you know, people were keeping their distance. He said, but then you drove through certain areas on the way back where you had that traffic or you could just see people like it was any normal day. No masks, no two metre distancing. But then, you know, other areas you're in, very quiet or nice social distancing or masks or gloves you know all the things you should be doing so how do you feel in a post lockdown world about how your business your work is going to work are there going to be fundamental changes is everything different now well we've always been really stringent with health and safety anyway now obviously you've got this new thing the distance thing i think going forward i think hygiene will become a huge thing for everybody i feel like we're going to be a massive society of ocd almost we have to be creative because we have to do our job and it is a physical job we've got to be sensible and think every single job we will have to think how are we going to do it how are we going to do it safely that none of our fitters encounter any problems so It's definitely not going to be easy. But if someone's moving home, they need curtains and blinds. You know, how are we going to measure for them? We've got to go and measure for them. How are we going to show the client fabrics? You can't show them on the internet. You can't see it. You can't see a true colour. You can't feel it. Um, But it's definitely challenging and it's definitely getting the mind boggling. Do you feel safe out there? Does it feel like you could pick up this infection at any time? Yeah, I don't feel safe. We don't feel safe at all. And, you know, we're thinking about us. We're thinking about our fitters. If we're going to a property that's tenanted, we speak to them beforehand. We tell them that you open the door, you go into the room where we're not working. We'll go and do our thing. We will have PPE on. um, And then when we leave, then obviously you can do as you wish. Sometimes we're going into empty properties. We don't have that worry. But when you're out on the streets, 
or you're near shops or you're in a shop, there's definitely some places are not, they're not doing what they're meant to be doing. And was it right to go back? Well, you went back last week. Is it right for people to start going back to work now? Well, listen, you know, I hear a lot of people, you know, saying all sorts of things about Boris. I wouldn't want to be running the government now because we're dealing with an unknown entity. No one knew this was coming. No one really understands it fully. No one knows what the future predicts for it. So it's very hard. No one can say it's right or wrong. He doesn't want us to fall into financial crisis, which is great. And we have to have some form of normality. We can't be stuck indoors for the next year in order for it to go. And also we've got to build up a resistance. I sort of think if you're staying at home all this time, not going out, are you building up a resistance? You know, should we be getting back to some normality? Yes, I do. But as long as people follow the rules and respect other people. Yeah, I guess though the problem is no one's really sure what the rules are right now. We're kind of just working them all out, aren't we? It's all new and it's all different. Some people here, you know, they heard Boris speak on Sunday and it's like, oh, he said things have got better. So actually now we had a delivery yesterday. He wasn't wearing gloves. You know, I thought, Boris didn't say just go out and carry on as normal. He said, look, it's great. The numbers have gone down. If they go down by this stage, we do this. If we go, but it doesn't mean just go back to normal. And that's what I feel some people are doing. And that's what I'm scared about. That's what scares me. It's all very well people going, I can do what I want. It's my body. But you've got to be respectful of others. And that's where I think it's going to slip. Search for The Leader Coronavirus daily on any podcast provider to hear more from the podcast.